Hello. You're here for a hearing test and an ear exam, right? Well, before we get started, I'm going to need some of your medical history. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, and do you have any hearing problems? Have you ever had any hearing problems before? How about any pain? Okay. Does anyone in your family have any hearing problems or wear a hearing aid? Okay. And do you know when they started wearing the hearing aid? All right, we're nearly there. Are you experiencing any dizziness lately? Maybe even feeling off balance? Mm hmm Okay. Any other symptoms bothering you? No? The first thing that I want to do is have a look in your ears. I'm going to get really close to you and check each ear one at a time. Okay, turn your head a little bit for me, please. Thank you. How does that feel? Okay. The same? Mm -hmm. I know this is a little bit weird because I'm folding your ears. I just want to see how flexible they are and they're not turning red, which is pretty good. I'm going to use an otoscope in each ear. I want to look a little bit closer. It will be a little bit cold and it can be a little bit uncomfortable, but it should not be painful. If you feel any pain or any sensation that's really bothering you, please let me know, okay? Give me one second. Okay. Well, everything looks good. I don't see any tenderness, no inflammation, no weird colors. So the only thing that has caught my attention is you have quite a buildup of excess wax. Can I ask how you clean your ears? Q-tips. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. Okay, well, I would recommend cleaning out your ears with, there's special kits for wax or water, but I would really stay away from Q-tips. A lot of people, 
they use them, of course, because they're handy, you can take them anywhere with you, they come in a cute little small box, but they can do severe damage to your eardrums. And they can also irritate, cut, or scratch your ear canal, which is very bad. And another downside to Q-tips, you know, it cleans the outer surface or it gives you the impression that it cleans it, but you're actually just pushing the wax farther down your ear canal. And then you can have a buildup of wax, which will eventually need to be cleaned out professionally. Yes. Well, you can use a washcloth. You can even use baby oil drops, like two tree baby oil drops. And another good thing for it is hydrogen peroxide. It's really good for cleaning out wax. But if you like, I can recommend you some eardrops. Yeah? Okay, we can do that, no problem. But no more Q-tips. <laughs> Alright, give me one second, please. Next, we have the audiology exam. Have you ever had one done before? No? Okay. Well, this is used to determine a person's hearing sensitivity. And this is with different frequencies. I will put some headphones on you and you will hear different sounds. I will tell you what we will do in just one moment. I will put these on you. Okay. All comfortable? Great. What we will do now is you will hear some beeping sounds in each ear. When you hear that sound, I want you to raise the hand of the ear you hear it in. So if you hear it in your right ear, you raise your right hand. If you hear it in your left ear, you raise your left hand. Yes, pretty easy. The volume will change with each sound, but nothing too loud, so you don't have to worry about it. Are you all set? Amazing. Starting in three, two, one. You're doing very good. The beeps will get faster and faster. Okay. Now I'll try something different. I will play a sound for you. This sound is different for everybody. And the reason it's different is because the frequency affects each person differently according to their age. So what I want you to do is when you stop hearing the sound, I want you to let me know. All right. Let's start in three, two, one.
Yes, you can just lift your hand when you stop hearing the sound. Okay. Very good. You did great. The next step is going to be something similar, but the frequency, the sound, will get higher and higher. What I want you to do is let me know when you stop hearing the sound. I will not tell you when I'm stopping it, but you have to tell me when you stop hearing it. Let's start. Three, two, one. Fantastic. Our last step with the headphones is going to be pretty much the same as the first step. So you'll be hearing the beepings again, but they're different. Yes, I want you to do the same thing. Raise the hand to the ear that you hear it playing in. Are you ready? Fantastic. Three, two, one. Amazing. You actually got all of them right. Okay, let's take them off very carefully. Before we finish off completely, I want to have one more look in your ear and I want to clean out the wax before you get going. Yes, of course. Of course, I will clean it. <laughs> All right. Let me just have another look, okay? Hold your head over for me, please. I'm going to add in some drops. These are very good for dissolving the wax. Okay, and now the other side. Tilt your head for me. Okay. It's a bit cold. Mm hmm. Give it a little shape. These are really good to put in nighttime just so they can drain out themselves while you're in bed because you don't want to, you know, your ears to drain when you're like in work or something. So I would really recommend using them at nighttime. Well, yeah, like I said, you can use baby oil if you like. Do you have baby oil at home? Mm-hmm. 
okay, give it a shot. And I will give you a prescription anyways, just so you have it with you. And if you decide to get the drops, you can just go into a pharmacy and get the drops. Okay. To end our session, your results are absolutely excellent. Your hearing is actually beyond normal expectancy, even for your age. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's really good. The only thing I would recommend is cleaning them properly, maybe listening while controlling the volume that you listen to, like when you're listening to music, because we really don't want to ruin your hearing, especially when it's so good. Yeah. Alright, I'm just going to type up the, the drops, print it out, give it to you, and then you're set to go. This will take just a moment. Okay, there's your prescription, and you're set to go. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming in today and putting your trust in me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more. Thank you. Bye.